Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS feature demonstration. In this video, we will show how to create a migration dashboard in vRealize Operations to right-size your VMs prior to moving them to the cloud. This video assumes you have already run the VMware Cloud on AWS assessment. Once that's completed, click on Export to download the CSV file that we'll need to import later. We will save it to our local system. Next, we'll open PowerShell, where we will be running the VMC import script. Let's take a minute to look at the script to show the input parameters. Inputs include the vRealize Operations Server IP, or FQDN, the path to the CSV file that you'll be importing, a flag for ignoring SSL certificates if you're using self-signed certificates, username and password for your vRealize operations, and then a group name if you don't want to use the default group of VMC migrations. Let's go ahead and execute the VMC import PowerShell script. We are using the ignore SSL flags. We set that to one for true, so the self-signed certificates are accepted by the script. Next, we'll provide the server IP and the CSV file name for import. Since we didn't specify the username and password, when executing the script, we'll be prompted to enter the information securely to log into the vRealize operations via the API. During execution, the script will match the virtual machine names in the CSV file with the resource IDs in vRealize operations. If you happen to have VMs in your environment that have the same name, the script will check for the duplicates to make sure we're grabbing the correct virtual machine. Once the machines are all matched up to their resource IDs, the group is created in vRealize operations. When we go to the Environment tab in vRealize operations, we can see the group has been successfully created. If we look at the environment list, we can see the 66 VMs that were imported into the group from the CSV file. Next, we'll need to import the dashboard. For this, we will go to the Dashboards tab, and then under Actions menu, we will click on Manage Dashboards. Click on the gear icon and select the Import Dashboards option. Click and browse our local directories to where we downloaded the dashboard file. It should be the VMware Cloud on AWS Migration Dashboard file. Click Done, and the dashboard will be imported. To see if the dashboard has been imported successfully, we can go to All Dashboards tab, click the VMware Cloud on AWS Migration Reclaim Capacity Dashboard, and verify it loads. Now we are ready to use the dashboard. Select the group we just imported in the environment list called VMC Migration. This focuses our capacity reclamation efforts solely on those VMs being considered as a part of our VMware Cloud on AWS migration project. Now, it's as simple as following the recommendations on the dashboard to right-size our VMs prior to migration. This concludes our demonstration on creating a migration dashboard for vRealize operations. Thank you.